Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pixel Lounge. Here with George, Rio, you know. Um, welcome back. So just start off like, just yeah, start, just start. Yeah. Oh, we can just talk. I mean, you're... How, how's your day going? Uh, oh, how's your week going, actually? Week? Yeah. Week was pretty good, pretty good, actually. Um, just worked. Uh, actually, I got off work pretty early this week, so I was pretty happy. The latest I got off was like four. I work at an office, bro. People be leaving at like two o'clock, one o'clock. Yeah. Like we had an office Christmas party on Thursday, and no, we had it on Wednesday. We had an office Christmas party. Nobody showed up Thursday. I think everybody was like, "Fuck it, we went to the office on on Wednesday. We ain't going back on Thursday." Oh shit! Uh, what about you? Uh, pretty chill. Slow time at work, so I'm only working like five hours. Oh damn! So very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is good. That is good. Uh, I just want to talk. Uh, I mean, since we're on. We're all Mexican here, right? Right. Your your parents ever tell you anything Be like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, because something will happen. Like for me, I'm a firm believer that you know vapor rub cures everything. <laughs> Dude, I put I put, I put vapor rub on everything on say, my chest, on my nose. Dude, my dad for soccer, like when I was really sick as a kid, my dad my dad before I played, he would have me swallow some. So it could like come and help, like help me breathe because I was all congested and stuff. Oh, and real. it helps, dude. It's a, it's it helps. A, it's a safe to swallow. I've never yes, swallowed. I don't know, dude. I, think Nobody... people, I mean, I, I say save your, your fucking vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, but like I've Solid. actually, I, I, I've eaten it before. I've swallowed. I, I put it up in my nose. I put it up in my chest. Fuck your it. feet, like bro. It. Well, first everything, bro. It, it's not vapor rub. It's vapor 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 vapor. Uh, When I went to the store one time, I'm like, hey, can I? Is there? Do you guys have vapor And like the tenant was like, in, like. Arab guy, and he's like, "What's what's vaporu?" And I'm like, "Oh, oh there it is! It's like vapor rub, vapor rub, man." <laughs> yeah, dude, it took me a minute to figure out that it wasn't called vaporu. Yeah, I had the fucking like beef steak. Uh, uh -huh. Do you know that beef steak is actually beef steak? Oh, beef steak, yeah, yeah. Wait for real? Beef steak. Yeah, that's like, that's, a, that's like Mexicans trying to say beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Oh, they say beef steak. Shit, that crazy, bro. That's just crazy, right? I had when I heard thing. that, I was like, oh "What?" It just blew my freaking mind, dude. <laughs> It makes sense when you hear it. Steak, beef steak, beef steak. Yeah, yeah. Beef steak. Goddamn Mexicans. But yeah. <laughs> I had the same situation when um, I, had, I wanted to get pucanas. And we went to, it was when we went to Wisconsin. It was just a whole white neighborhood. And I was like, oh, do you guys have pucanas? And then a uh, freaking, um, my cousin, Fern, he was like, wait, bro, wait, bro. Do you guys have bouquets? <laughs> <laughs> and I swear to God, the guy, was, well, yeah, when yeah. I told him if he had pucanas, he, he looked at me, he was like, what, what is that? And Fern came over here. No, no, who can't? He said, "I O two. But yeah, but she, I mean, the, the words that make the, the Spanish words that mix up was so fucking much. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. For, for me, it's being crazy. a Mexican, it's always been like the the difference between like Americans and like Mexican family. Mm -hmm. So like, one time I was at Six Flags, and this little kid behind me was like, "Oh my god, this is like my first roller coaster," and like he was so excited. He's like, "But I might be scared," and without missing a beat, the dad goes. Jimmy, you played in your baseball final though last week. Do you think this is going to be much scarier than that? And the kid was like, you're probably right, Dad. Shit, I remember when I was a kid. I'm like, oh, shit, this might be scary. My mom would be looking at me and be like, don't be a girl. Let's get on. <laughs> it's like, god damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, the Latinos would be like, stop being a bitch. Just, just go. Yeah, oh, really, while, while other ones are like, you'll be fine, kid. You could do it. It's, it's crazy, bro. It's uh, Latino family be be much Tough love. Yeah, they, they give much more tough love. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely tough love on that one. Uh, I mean, but see, uh, tough love is what we need. I'm saying oh, yeah. the new generation has too much softness, and because they're so soft, they can't take a joke, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, they, made us, they made us have hard ass skin when we were good. Exactly. <laughs> we were going. Dude, I used to have uh I used I used to have cellulite when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So like I had it all in my stomach right here. Dude, my brother would not let me hear the end of this shit. Oh my god. Dude. I was like, but I didn't give a shit either though. Cause I was like I'm still gonna be out with, without my shirt. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit. Boy, but, you ready? You ready? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. But he, man, this motherfucker, he always pointed it out, and I'm like, I don't care, dude. I'm like, I'm, st I'm still gonna write, write it out anyway. But then when I got bigger, it just went away. So I was like, now what? You can just make fun of me that I'm dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna say, man, the kids now are waste after. Like when I was a kid, you know, people would bully you on middle school and shit. Hell yeah. And like you'll you'll go home, whatever. Now it's like you get bullied online. And it's like just turn off the computer, bro. Oh my god, For that's real. one thing I don't understand is get people bullying online. The one you used to like, you can't just 
Turn it off. Right? Yeah, exactly. Turn it I, it I've, never got, I've never understood online bullying. Like, and let, let me like, just make a difference. There's a difference between online bullying mm -hmm. and like the shit that some people do, which is like swatting and doxing. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Uh, the, swatting. Uh, the swatting, the doxing, and shit like that. So like swatting is like when they send like the cops to your house, right? That's mm -hmm. not online bullying. At that point, you're fucking actually bullying somebody. Yeah. You're you're committing a crime. Yeah. I'm talking about like if somebody makes fun of you online, bro, just turn off the computer. Sure. Like, I mean, it's stuff like that should not be taken serious because again it's everyone says random stupid shit online dude, everybody's tough and behind the screen man that's yeah, a, yeah that's, that's the that's thing. big thing again everyone has well, a voice face to face they probably won't even tell you anything they won't even say anything no that's people, the thing and, and, and I've seen people get really really well hurt on like these online stuff and it's just like I mean at that point like you can't really do anything I mean it's right. just it's just, it's just, it's just fucking Exactly, and that, which, 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 and, and just going back, like growing growing up in a Mexican household and stuff, you know that's just they they prepare you for life in that moment. <laughs> Shit, oh, like, that's why I always tell I always, I always tell my 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 kids and stuff. I was like, dude, if you can handle jokes here, like out outside in the real world. Those jokes would not affect you at all. Yeah. Like you're already used to it. Like your family knows everything about you. Yeah. I'm like, damn, remember that one time you pissed yourself on Fourth of July? <laughs> Be like, oh my damn, God. dude, why the fuck you bringing that shit up? I had my girl over and shit. You over here trying to talk? Well, speaking of that, one time I put my pants and my girlfriend and my fucking girlfriend was was, was here. This was I was like fucking like four or five years old, right? My fucking sister comes in. Oh, you remember that time you pulled your pants? I was like, what? Oh, my girl's right here. <laughs> How long were y'all dating back then? Exactly. Uh, was, it, was, it, was it like a fresh relationship or was it like nah, a few years? It was, it was within a couple years, but like still. For real, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like, like, you, like that's just tough. It's like tough. people be getting mad at the school, man. Households be fucking meaner than that shit. Mexican yeah, households yeah, be making fun of you, like I said. They be knowing all your little days secrets. Yeah, but I, but I think the, the difference on that portion is like they're doing it out of luck. Right, they're like, hey, you yeah, remember definitely. that shit was fucking hilarious. Like, I know you were you you were the one getting fucked up. That shit was hilarious on my head, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but it's like vice versa, right? The same shit happens to them. And I think that's something where again you, you build a tough skin where you go out to friends and where you can talk shit, right? Compared yeah, exactly. to like going to a house where everyone's all nice to each other and then you the moment you say something nice. bad, yeah, nice, right? The moment you say something bad, they're like taking it really offensive, right? Yeah, so exactly. I think that's, that's part of the yeah. difference of it. Yeah, you definitely have to know your audience as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't talk shit to you like how I talk shit to somebody else. You know, he doesn't love you enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like he only be talks you know, shit to people he loves. Don't believe charges. <laughs> don't believe charges. Uh, no, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's crazy. Audience, yeah. right? you, you, you got to find out who can handle the, the type exactly. shit or who's like, oh wait, are we, are we, are we exactly good? Is, is, like, do you think there's a time like let's say if you know like I've known you for 14 years 15 years a lot like I've known you for a while right so like do you think I'm able to make fun of you more than like let's say Abe that's only know you a little shorter I don't know I, I, make, make, fun of I make fun of everybody bro. <laughs> <laughs> you do get bullied a lot I'm tell you, I'm tell you. I get bullied what the fuck Dude, I am a. I like to call myself an equal opportunity roaster, bro. Oh, Any, anybody can get it. Hey, I, I feel anybody. Like, I always tell people, man, you can roast me a shit all you want, and I'm not gonna get mad as long as you make me laugh. Exactly. <laughs> like, you can tell me the most right. fucked up shit ever, but if you can get a laugh out of me, I was funny though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah you gotta, you gotta respect, yeah. you gotta respect the comedy. You feel me? Oh, hundred percent. I mean, that's the golden rule of comedy, right? Either everything's okay to make fun of, or nothing should be okay to make fun of. Yeah, exactly. that's where again, exactly. Then, like, comes in where some people are like, oh, you can't make fun of this, you can't make fun of that. Yep. But it's like, you make fun of everybody, so what the fuck? I mean, and it's a double standard, right? That's you what I'm saying. you see people like Dave Chappelle who's made countless of skits, mm -hmm. you know, everything from the white face dude, the crackhead guy, to Oh everything. my God, he made fun of everything. He made fun of everything. South Park. Everything. Everything. Yeah. They make fun of fucking everything. Exactly, and, and the thing is, like, they make fun of everybody so consistently that everybody's like, it's cool, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, no, but, yeah, for sure. Yeah. As long as you're also, like, also, like, being racist is not... Like comedy, you know what I mean? Like Kramer, he from um, what's his name? Kramer from uh, Seinfeld. Uh -huh. You know he got like canceled because he like said and the hard R. Oh really? Yeah, I know what he's saying. And he was, Wait, he, he's I, I don't know he was actually a comedian. Yeah, he was stand up comedian, yeah. and he like he was in one of the comedy show. He just like straight up said the hard R, and he got canceled. Holy and everybody's like, well, that's not funny. You just at that point you're just insulting somebody, you know. Yeah. Well, that's that's the whole thing about like race, dark humor, right? Exactly. You, you have to make it to a point where there's got to be a punchline. Oh, yeah. if, if you're like 
dehumanizing somebody and you're like fucking tearing down somebody i think that's when it's like whoa dude like whoa, 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 whoa. also like you have guests ever been to comedy shows yeah yeah i've been to some comedy like shows. you know they roast the audience as well yeah oh yeah so like people who don't that's who, why i don't go in the front i was gonna say people who want to go to like people <laughs> people who go to comedy shows and don't understand that that's like that's a big part of the show mm-hmm. like yeah. you have a pre-show which like they kind of like Find people's stuff, you know, start roasting them. The comedians will be in the background sizing people up from the start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Then they have their main skit, and then at the end, they do like a little QA thing where like they roast people. And it's like, if you don't know that shit, you go to a comedy show and you get roasted, don't get offended. Oh, yeah, that's a big You know thing. what I mean? You're going there for laughs. Like, take it as a joke. Like, they're comedians. That's their whole job. Hey, yeah. is, that, is it when you're going to a mosh pit and you get punched in the face? Yeah, or yeah. kitty shots. Or kitty shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just. <laughs> little little side back to our last yeah, episode. Last episode. Go check it out, guys. Go check it out. Uh, but yeah, you, you just gotta be like, oh shit. You know, shit happened. That's that's. Yeah. Well, we're going back to like what a Mexican parent used to say. What is one Mexican parent? Uh, what is one Mexican saying that you still have a replay in the back? Por pendejo. Por pendejo. <laughs> God damn. Oh, oh, it is. Like, George. Like, means because you're stupid, I guess. Yeah. Because you're dumb. Yeah, that's what you get, though. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, I will fuck up or I'll, I'll, I'll fall down. Por pendejo, quiero. Yeah. You know, I'll do something stupid. Por pendejo, what's up? Así, así aprende. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, por pendejo, así aprende. That's how you learn. That's, that's how you learn. learn. And, and to this day, man, I'll be seeing a little kid falling from running around. I'm like, por pendejo. <laughs> like, that's, that's the one thing that always stuck to my head. No matter what happens, if somebody does something stupid, por pendejo. Yeah. That's just what it is. That's the big one for me. Oh. Or when your parents told you not to turn on the light in the car while they're driving. Oh, yeah, right? Because that shit was illegal. Because it was illegal. Bro, that's just the one. be later on. Like, when I had a car, I was like, we can't turn on the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell my kids all the time, don't turn on the damn car. Oh, you still tell don't turn on the light. Yeah, I told them anyway. I'm like, shit. If I was traumatized with that damn light, they would be traumatized with that damn light. Oh, man. They can't even turn on their flashlight on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, turn this shit on, man. I thought it was a cop. Oh my god. Yeah, damn. I'm over here looking at my rear view mirror. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Wait, so like, is there anything that your parents told you that now you're telling your kids? Oh yeah. I'm like, the my favorite one is, man, I can't wait until you get older so you can so you can feel what I feel right now. <laughs> That's my favorite one. My dad used to tell you this shit all the time. He used yeah. to tell you shit all the time. Oh fuck. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yo, I, I, gotta, I gotta give my respect to my parents. My parents were super nice when I was fucking growing up. Well, see, like, uh, you, uh, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. You were a fucking accident child, bro. Oh, yeah. I remember like, that to my fucking parents. Like, I, I told them out of love. I was like, hey, it, it's, it's okay. My, 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 yeah. my, my siblings are like two years apart, right? And I don't know where I'm like 10 years apart from my from the last sibling. And I just told my parents, I was like, was it an accident? Like, it's okay though. <laughs> I'm still here, right? Like, yeah. I'm still alive. But like, was it an accident? But no, they, they told me no. I don't know. They told me. Oh, that. that's a bullshit, bro. Ain't nobody has fucking <laughs> that many kids, and then ten years later goes, you know what? This was about to be fucking a teenager. We need another fucking well, baby. To be fair, to be to be fair, um, they actually had one before me. Okay. Maybe that one was an accident, and then there and no. Oh, um, see, maybe you want a redemption. So redemption. redemption. <laughs> I was the redemption child. There you uh, go. Yeah, yeah, so um, you're the youngest one, right? Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. So again, same. I was um I, as being the youngest one. Yes, I was much more of the of the sport one as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. I did, I did, and because of the sport one, I fucking I had a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, I was a sport. See, but like, I, I say sport as in like I, I got stuff. I, I wasn't like again, my parents weren't rich or anything like that. They, were, I, they like I remember talking to my brother. They they, they like to call it lower middle class, right? I, I, I get the stuff. I just had to wait for it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I wanted something. Okay, just give me. Oh, see, okay. it's funny. When we were younger, me and my brother we had the same amount of gifts, right? Everything he got, I got. Oh, for real? But it got to the point where like school got involved, right? About about fifth or sixth grade he started to abandon school well I still did good because honestly I'm not trying to be mean to people who have bad grades but god damn it's not that fucking hard bro yeah. elementary middle it's school and attention. high school that ain't that you show up half the time bro I, I swear to god high school like uh, did, did you guys have like any honors classes AP yeah. classes you had honors classes AP classes I had no that shit holy fuck well you're not that smart no I <laughs> Uh, and you think he's gonna get online booty? Uh, yeah, right. This is the booty right here. Anything okay, you guys fucking say? <laughs> but um, right. going back to and my bro, regular fucking classes was fucking like holy shit. Like if you feel that, like mm-hmm. God, you're really not doing nothing. Exactly. Yeah, like like have the time. Really these people nothing. just well, the teacher will give you an A if you just show up. Yeah. Um. For real. Shout out, Miss Stewart, on my high school. 
AP, AP history, bro. I didn't turn in no homework, no nothing. She passed me with a C. I was able to get a college credit for it. <laughs> Shout out, Miss Stewart. Uh, Dude, she was she had been in my high school for like a uh, shit ton of years dude she taught my dad my dad went to the school oh, she taught her she teacher. taught my dad well she didn't like she wasn't his teacher right because he wasn't she he was he was the one that wasn't going <laughs> but she was she saw him and when he like when i was a freshman and i had her as a freshman too i had her as a freshman and it was like it was like ap something i forgot what it was but it was mostly history like u.s history and stuff like that dude when she saw him pick up like we were walking around the hallway picking up my report card and shit she saw him she's like i know you oh hell and then my dad was like what the hell like it was an old black lady dude old black lady like and then he's like he looked at her he's like miss stewart she's like yeah i was like oh yeah i was like what the hell is going on oh i was like what the hell yeah, like, you guys are old as that <laughs> dad remembered yeah oh, bro. Wow. and i was like what the hell I'm I'm like, sh- do you remember that you don't even remember what year i was born <laughs> I do remember my birthday, but you don't remember the year. I'm surprised. Or it was the other way around. I'm surprised she remember him because I'm sure. Yeah, she had, I was like, she has hundreds dude, of students by then. I'm guessing. Yeah, dude. God, that um, is crazy. I guess facial features. You feel me? But yeah, especially well, because I'm. I was. Well, I was then again, too. He, was, she was probably the only Mexican there. Yeah, yeah, I was still the only Mexican. <laughs> 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 still the only Mexican. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, so my brother started having bad grades, right? Yeah. So when he started having bad grades, my parents used to use the excuse of, you're not going to get this until you get good grades, thinking he's going to get motivated. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> so he just stops. He still didn't fucking go. He still does class. So because I got good grades and he didn't, they were buying me shit because I had good grades and he didn't. So it got to the point where I looked, I looked at my brother. I'm like, bro, we got the same shit. Stop bitching. He's like, do you not realize that you had a PSP, a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy? I'm like, I did had all this and he's like do I had any of them I'm like no it's like you were the fever I'm like ah cool I was yeah. no yeah I'm, I'm gonna just back up what Mario said I mean I was the last I was the last one from out of six out of okay. six dude and I have a big ass family more than me I have a big family and I was born I was born like well 94 right so it's not that bad what's the age gap between you and the second and the next uh, five years, my sister. Uh, she's five years older than me, but we grew up together pretty much. Okay. Like before that, my brother. We had five years. Me and my brother were like twelve years apart. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying five years is not that. No, not that bad. It's not that like bad. Ten years is a lot. We've, we even went to the same uh, elementary school at one point. No. So, oh, but, except for high school, because she went to an all girl one, so I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, I went to charter school. So maybe. you went to charter school. What's oh, First graduating class from my charter school. Mm, so okay that was fun yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean that, that made it so easy because all the teachers liked you all the teachers knew you so it was it was, it was the first it, it was, was everybody's yeah it was everybody's first yeah that makes sense yeah it, it was a little scary you know nobody knew what they were doing i was nervous you know <laughs> palms are sweaty <laughs> But yeah, but once everybody Our got used so <laughs> But once everybody got used to it, you know, it went a lot smoother. Yeah, for real, for real. No. What are you guys doing this weekend? This weekend. Oh. So, so this weekend is the World Cup weekend. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yes. So yeah. Final. What, Dude, I didn't know it was that early. Nine what? in the morning. Yes, oh, yeah. that's like a fucking I'm like, morning. Oh, damn, oh, I can't even get drunk today. <laughs> or anything, bro. <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah. So to, when we're recording today, uh the Croatia versus Morocco game and then you guys saw that? Yeah, I didn't see that. I was no, uh, I was working. Oh I saw it. You were working. Oh, so, what time was it was oh, this morning? Yeah, it oh, was no, 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 no. <laughs> well, obviously you didn't see it. I didn't see it then. Uh Oh, y'all want to know the score? Yeah, yeah no, no. I, I, uh, who won their place? Uh, so Morocco lost against um, Croatia. Croatia, Croatia, so Croatia one, right? Two to one, yeah. What was the... Uh, uh, when did they make the second goal? Or, I forgot. I don't know the match. Like, yeah. yeah. It was a good game? Yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, that was at 9-2? Damn. Damn. Oh, see, you say he's damn, but I guess that was a good time for them over there. Because over there... Yeah, what time is it over there? Like, like, over there is like fucking, like, I think 1 p.m. over there? Yeah, 1 to p.m. Yeah, yeah. Damn, they couldn't do it like at 5? That's it. That's why they do the one o'clock one. Mm-hmm. They do the one o'clock the latest. Yeah, it'll be like one. It'll be one on the, our time. It'll be one. Nah, it's not that bad, bro. You guys are acting like you guys gotta I'm wake up at two in the morning. I'm just saying. But like on a Sunday, it's a though? Sunday. Who wants to wake up early? Bro, on a my Sunday? my days off. I wake up at seven and eight. Damn. Why? Because I'm used to, used to it. my days to work. I wake up at five. I can't imagine like, yeah, when I was waking up. Uh, when I was doing when my when my when I had a busy schedule, I had I was literally waking up like a fucking. Early in the morning, like a seven or eight, but not because I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of just, just, it, just, just it just happens. Your body's gonna use that shit. But you are gonna, you are gonna watch it though. Yes, I should want to watch. Who it. You guys are ready for? 
Argentina, uh, bro. Oh, I'm, I'm fuck gonna, I, them. Wait, Argentina, wait, okay, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So, like... And I'm not saying because, you know, I mean, even, though they, even though they beat Mexico, fuck them. The, even but the that's the reason why I'm the GOAT. Me. You feel me? Bro, I fucking, I always, I've always i always loved Messi since yeah. he was Actually, since he was a little kid, to be honest. Last, last World Cup, uh, his last World Cup, and exactly. now, like, again, that, that's pretty. Also, fuck France. They already won last time. They won last, last time. Bro, I just fucking don't like Argentina. I don't but, like, I don't like, I don't like. like oh, but yeah, I get you. But, I guess, okay, yeah. now, I've, I've only met one Argentina, and fucking, like, holy shit, bro. Like, she'd be talking, she'd be talking so much shit about all oh, these people Spanish, and like. Yeah, know, their Spanish like, is so beautiful. Bro, their Spanish is so beautiful. I like their Spanish, Look, dude. Spanish. And they put so much emphasis on their words, yeah, and they're so Spanish soft. Is like fucking it's so soft. Spanish, bro. I feel like, I feel like exactly. it's so, so elite. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Look, like, it's, it's, I, all, it's up there. I don't hate <laughs> anybody, right? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't met that many Argentinas and that many Brazilians, right? Yeah. But Brazilians and Argentinas, mm-hmm. saying this, Mexican fans ain't the best. But Argentinian fans and Brazilian fans are the most cocky motherfuckers oh, yeah. ever. Oh, yeah. I mean, they won. So I don't mean, give a fuck. Yeah, You're so cocky as fuck. Yeah. I mean, but you got to respect the game. Like, yeah, it's not even like, just the country. Yeah. You got to respect the game. They had a whole bunch of players that are just out of this world type. Oh, 100%. Really. You know what I'm saying? And the so fuck you just got to respect them. Bro, I, I can't yeah. stand ego. Like, I've always said, I don't give a fuck about your status. Don't fucking have an ego like that. You know what I mean? Good game. You know, have a good one. You know? no, fuck no, no, if, no, you're, if you're good... You gotta, you gotta strut. You gotta be humble. You gotta strut it though. You gotta be humble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You're not gonna be all. Oh, be he's. I'm sure Messi's not gonna fucking go up to an interview and be like, "Man, I score a goal on any fucking goalie I want," and I want somebody to say something. I'm sure he's not gonna say that. Some, you know, Saudi even though he did. Saudi Arabia would be like, you know what I'm saying? Even though, <laughs> <laughs> dude, those are the luckiest bastards ever. Hey, they went home happy as fuck. They they beat Argentina. Yeah. No lie. Then they got fucking bandies. No lie. Like yeah, I think, I think they got real voice. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. Damn, that's really fun. I, I'm crazy, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go for Argentina. Fuck Argentina. So like, you are um, you're probably the most soccer fanatic person I know. Considering you play soccer a lot, right? Yeah. And I'll probably want to get into soccer probably every four fucking years. I know we'll see after Makes we'll sense. see after this. Like everybody cup. else in the world. Yeah, like everybody else. <laughs> we'll see after this because I, I really got hooked into it. I watched like almost Bro, all the fucking games. You got hooked into any sport for a while. You got hooked into fucking volleyball. You got hooked into soccer. Oh, I got hooked in volleyball because I was actually in volleyball. I was playing volleyball. Uh. Also she got into volleyball. So I know. Anyways. Yeah. Going after that. Valid. Um but I, I mean, obviously, soccer has been a preference into the culture as well, and into my family, into growing up as well. So, obviously, that that one. But um, I want to see what was your thoughts on the whole World Cup, I guess, season. What were my thoughts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I I barely see saw it. You barely saw it. Yeah, because I was working most of the time, so oh, shit. I was on the road. <laughs> I was at work too, but that's not mean I didn't see it. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm, I'm driving and shit. Oh you my god, bro. I remember one time I'm we, had, we had a fucking them. meeting in Mexico and Poland was played. I was like, oh my god. I fucking pat my phone down, put it like underneath the chair, and was like this the whole time. <laughs> pretending I was like, yes, 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 let's keep going. Yes, let's do that. And then I'm over here like, oh my god. And then when I try to block the penalty and shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh, shit. Bro. I was like, oh my god. Amazing. Amazing so- speech. <laughs> World Cup running every time, every, and people knew I had the World Cup in my office, so people would come in and be like, "Hey, yo, how's it going?" I'm like, oh, hey, real? That's fucking nice. I have two monitors, so I have one monitor with my emails and all that stuff. So I was, I was work, working. <laughs> oh, my yeah, my boss is this. I was very hard working. Um, but during the po- no Portugal versus Morocco, Morocco? yeah, Portugal against Morocco, yeah, yeah, yeah during Portugal Morocco, sixteen, yeah, during the Portugal yeah. Morocco game, I saw it. I was at the train going back home. Oh, really? And when they missed the penalty, no, when they scored the goal at the last minute, I'm like, holy fucking shit. I got up and stood up, and everybody's just staring at me. <laughs> and I just gonna sit back down. We see a tall ass guy right there. Just fucking, fucking especially on a fucking train. <laughs> Bro, it was what line was it? Uh, the green light. Uh. Uh, the ghetto line, what yeah, I like to call it. For real. Um, but yeah, that, it's, it's it's faster, bro. It's, it's faster, my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, just imagine. And then France, too, if they do, I mean, respect to them regardless. I mean, back to back, dude, that's crazy. Oh, That'd be crazy. Last, team, yeah. last, team was to, last team to do that was Brazil, was 1962. Yeah, I was going to say that. That was been such a fucking 
back to back. That's I mean, crazy. the fact that they made it this far is, is oh, yeah. it's, it's allowed because there is they got rid of the, the curse. curse. They got rid of the curse. Yeah, they got rid of the work of curse where every other team. Yeah, oh, with shit. the re, with the ones that like won it the time before Yo, get kicked out as soon as don't even make it. To the you guys, sixteen round. You got to shout out to the fucking small fucking nations out there that made it to that fucking or the groups of sixteen. Mm-hmm. Fucking Japan. Croatia, oh God, Morocco, yeah, yeah. for real, like yeah. Korea, all these little fucking teams eliminating people like Spain, Germany, like. Actually, you gotta give a shout out to Morocco. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, oh my god. Dude, they, were, they did really good though. Bro, oh, bro, I was like, let's go, bro, no, let's go. If you see some highlights, like you could tell, like they were, they were ready. They, they fucking wanted, wanted that. They, they wanted, wanted, wanted it. And it's fucking crazy. Have you guys seen the little girl that was uh, that, got, that got viral? She was talking shit about after oh, about the, Ronaldo, right? Yeah, she was talking yeah. shit about Ronaldo after She's the like, Ronaldo. She's like, poor Ronaldo. Ronaldo. So many Ronaldo. people got so bored. I think she got on uh, booty. You heard about the Croatian girl? Croatian girl? You the can't co- talk about Ronaldo either, dude. Their no, fans they- are fucking crazy. You heard about the Croatian yeah, girl? Yeah, especially after a little girl. Oh, yeah. Like what about the Croatian, the Croatian girl? girl. Little girl? So there was this Croatian girl. There's like this Croatian model. They was going to Croatian uh, games. Oh, the one with the square thing? Yeah, she was actually dressing like riskier and riskier each fucking game. Each game. Wait, wait, what, what's going on with that? It was a Croatian. It was a model. It was a model. It was a model. She was, like, going, she was. She went to the World Cup and she was watching the games, but she was dressed like like every time she. Yeah, I felt like her was fucking. Exposing. Yeah, her dress kept getting she, shorter. And oh, like, so shorter. she literally just went down. So the like, line. Yeah, especially for Qatar, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they, yeah. they have to cover themselves. Up. They had. She had a full on dress and she had like a two piece and then she had like you know the shit and and uh, Qatar was getting pissed. And and she's like, if Croatia makes it to the final, I'll fucking get naked. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god! And everybody all of a sudden became Morocco fans. <laughs> all you see is like, oh, I want to, I want Morocco to win. I want Morocco to win. So you have a whole bunch of support from Morocco just because they want to see this fucking like model. Hey man, whatever it gets Morocco over there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Wait, third, you mean first place ain't that bad though? Third. No, fourth. Oh, Morocco, yeah. They lost. Yeah. 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 Fourth place? Croatia. Uh, how many teams? Yeah, I mean, it was a Croatian girl, not a Moroccan girl. Sorry. It was, it was a Croatian girl. Croatian. Oh, so they won a Croatian girl. They won a Croatian girl. Croatia. Yeah, third place, third place. Hey, third place, hey, third place not the I don't know what she's going to get for third place, but she said for the final, she was going to get naked. Technically, that is the final. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get it, bro. Sorry, you're not going to get it. I'm going to watch the highlights. But yeah, so so as a spectator from the U.S., I hear... The World Cup was great, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of upsets. I can't believe people forgot how to do penalties. Um, the oh, God, Harry yeah. Kane. Uh, yeah, everybody just forgot how to take penalties. <laughs> but why I heard was when over there was actually a shit show. Uh, people were getting arrested because they had rainbow flags. Uh, yeah, I heard the the no alcoholic world. thing. Uh, I heard over there was actually really hard to be a fan just because you had to be careful what you said. Yeah, really hard to yeah like you couldn't that. curse or anything. Mm-hmm. Holy, like shit. they they were very. Like they heard you curse, they'd be like they they'd be very, they were very strict. A lot of people got arrested. Type shit. Yeah. Uh, a few people got killed apparently. Damn. Um, they said the government didn't do it, but you know, people are saying it was the government. And then they said that they're uh that those rooms that they that they had for everybody that they weren't really that good either, like the quality of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what they were saying. Which is one of the reasons why they they're, they're they're changing from a one country host a World Cup to multiple. Well, mm. that because they also don't have to build all the. I was gonna say it, it, it like takes like the bur- Brazil, South Africa, build like so many other stadiums. Yeah, it takes the financial aid sure away from them. Like you know, like some of the states or some of the arenas that uh, South Africa has are abandoned right now. Yeah, and it's like this. Yeah, that's what Brazil too. And I heard yeah. that uh, some of the countries just make even; like they don't make a huge profit. Yeah, it's more for publicity sake. Yeah, it's more FIFA than anything to be uh, honest. Shanking fag. Oh fuck yeah! But they say that there's a conspiracy. And they say there is a conspiracy that FIFA is actually trying to arrange that Messi does win this World Cup. I, that's what they're saying. How does that work though? Like, I mean, can you they probably pay off the roof or something? You feel me? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, they're the ones. They're the ones that do the VAR anyway. Well, but like this, yeah. this. Well, it's like so like high tech, right? Like you have the ball exactly. sensor and the like the comps and I mean, all that shit. Right. Yeah, exactly. Everything is high tech where you could easily yeah. manipulate it. You feel me? You gotta be careful. I mean, I mean so you can still manipulate like fucking human errors and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, look yeah. at Maradona's goal. Oh yeah, there you go. Exactly. The gone. Holy shit! That was the last time they won the fucking World Cup. Like, I, like if was it? La, uh, oh, Argentina won. Last time they won the World Cup was I think in the late 1980s. R.I.P. Maradona, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. That. Um, he was good too. Fuck Messi. Fuck Messi. Really? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I like Messi. Who's going for a second? I, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me you, fucking Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a hater. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just don't like Argentina. Like I said, I don't like Argentina. Not a lot of Mexicans like Argentina. Like, because we fucking lost all the time. Mexico, I mean, uh, Messi's a good player. player. Mexico's a good player. Messi's a good player. Messi's a great player. He's on the top players in the world. Same thing with Ronaldo. Messi's a bitch, though. He fucking 
throws himself for every little fucking shit. Like, there's no fucking. Wait, this is a, what? He, 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 he throws it all the fucking. They always I feel like he does it. They, does they fucking he? do, bro. They fucking do. I swear to God. I don't know. I have to see proof. Um, oh, what Jordan is saying. Bro, I swear I, every time. I don't know. Every time I, I, I see Messi, every, bro. every time I see Messi play, that, that, he's never on the floor. Bro, that little girl was getting a lot of cyberbullying. Fucking <laughs> Messi. Are you talking shit about Messi? I think if we're Messi fans, I'm going to go for 100% sure, bro. I don't give a fuck. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Talk to me. You say. Oh, so why don't you. Why you. So, so, okay, there's three reasons. Argentina cries like a little bitch. They fucking fought for every little shit, okay? Okay. <laughs> Second of all, their fucking fans are toxic as fuck, okay? I feel like this is everything. Okay. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah, but, like, okay. fuck Argentina. Yeah, he's just, okay, Yo, go the rule of the internet. It's okay when you do it, but when somebody else does them, fuck them, okay? okay. Makes sense. So, like, we might be a little toxic too, but, like, we're doing it, so it's okay, but fuck Argentina, <laughs> okay? <laughs> And the third reason is the most petty shit of all. They always eliminating Mexico, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Why is it that Mexico be getting out of cheating in the fucking groups every fucking World Cup? I swear to God. And we always get fucking shit. I think I, I saw the the stats. It was like uh, the last 15 games or some shit like that. Mexico's only won like two of them. Yeah. It's, it's pathetic. Right. Fucking pathetic. And I think one of them was like in a hey, we gold, don't care. gold cup, I think. We don't care. It was here. <laughs> we don't care, <laughs> we don't care <laughs> what it was. We, we got <laughs> you, bro. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Even if it's funny, stop taking okay. it. If, if we can hear that, um, the reason why Mexico teams are not as like a giant such as Brazil or um, Argentina and stuff like that, because the culture is engraved in the soccer culture is engraved into Mexico so much, right? So they're saying that, and I heard it's because they're making money off of it or some shit like that. Like every all the, the if you're trying to get into Mexico the national team, you gotta have money. Oh, yeah. You're not hearing the stories of like, or and from what I heard, like uh, Mexico is for boxing. Mexico has the greatest boxers ever, right? Because and you hear all the stories where these people start from way in the bottom, being poor and stuff like that, and rise up, right? And it's not the same with the Mexico national side. Exactly. So I heard that's one of the conspiracies. That's, that's yeah. also uh, that's also what they were saying about France, because France literally has like three French players. Everybody else is from another nation. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I fucking. And Mbappe, he's from Cameroon. No. He's from- He's a North African. Uh, but you gotta be half and half, right? No, you just have to live there for a certain period of time oh, really? to become a. I thought you gotta global. train with them or something like that, right? No, you just have to live in the country for a certain amount of time oh, to shit. become like an actual like member. Also, like, wh- why why are there's no Mexican players in fucking in US? I, I, I saw I saw I saw what like one or two. I yeah, feel like so there should be a lot more. Like, there's a lot of Mexicans here. Why? Why? Because well, fucking... Mexicans in the US are short as hell. That was scary, man. Getting bullied. Uh, oh. No, but I could, I could, I could, I could totally see oh, the yeah. Mexican government being corrupt against soccer. I mean, it's but really like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's not far fetched. The Mexican government being corrupt. Oh no. no. Yeah, 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 I mean, like everywhere else in the world, you know, you either have money or you know somebody that knows somebody. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, um, fuck, man, I just, I just, it's crazy. I mean, uh, the World Cup's happening this year. I want to see one of the games. I just fucking hope they don't fucking suck at that. But it's just yeah. Yeah. okay. So you are. You grew up playing soccer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember you told me a story that you had a chance to go into like much more higher ranking soccer or something like that. Yeah, I had a chance to be actually in a, a Mexico academy called uh, Pachuca. Pachuca. Oh, the shit. Mexican, the Mexican team? You're about to be in the Pachuca academy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm was, kind of lost with was, the Pachuca academy. I was 15 years old. So, like, how far is it from like Pachuca, Pachuca academy to like getting into like playing? So, no, Pachuca, Pachuca, is, Pachuca is already in Me- uh, Mexican yeah. professional league already. So, so by I'm going to the Pachuca Academy, you're I'm in their so. I'm in their school already. In their school, so it's so like, yeah. I go with them. You feel me? Oh, okay. So they groom me, so I could already be I could be ready for the profession when I get when I'm ready. Oh, physically, okay. mentally, regardless. Yeah, that, that that's what a lot of people be doing nowadays. Well, yeah. they have like they they get them young and they oh, put yeah. them into academies. Well, well yeah, academies because... academies are young, dude. Uh, that's why Messi was so. That's why Barcelona got Messi because his family wasn't didn't have the money enough to actually you know because he had a uh, condition where he, he was wasn't he, he was short exactly <laughs> that's a condition exactly yeah yeah he was actually like <laughs> look at me I was looking he actually <laughs> got it was like an actual a real thing I forgot what I forgot the name of it no this is this is some sort of like mental stuff I'm not mental stuff like health condition right no it's legit legit, legit yeah like by doctors and everything yeah, but that's why that's why they did it that's why he, they, he had to go to Barcelona because they had to pay for his like his treatment and everything like that, like no, every, sure. all of that was, was he, all of that was he, free. He already short well, he was a, well when he was a kid. They told him he wasn't going to grow anymore. No, at all. 
Oh shit! If I'm not mistaken, hey, well, that's why he was able to actually grow Don't like how he okay. how he did now. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have a lot of messy comments. What messy no, right? character story? When real? Yeah, was... for real. <laughs> hey, if you guys know the story, let me know. Yeah, please. Let us know. Hey, please leave a comment. <laughs> that shouldn't that shouldn't like make messy discourage. When real was like 17, he was like, oh God, I yeah. still have time to grow. Because I still had a, a pair of shorts from freshman year. I tried them on. I was like, yes. <laughs> I can't, I can't so fight. I'm so like, fucking happy. So you see good. one nut just coming out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shorts. <laughs> he said they fit. <laughs> no, they didn't fit. That's what I was happy. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, so you did see a nut coming out. <laughs> Both of them, but no, like I said, I, I, I'm a hater for Argentina. I can, I can admit that. I don't give a fuck. I still want yeah. to lose. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like the fact that they beat Mexico so many other times, the, 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 but the fact that they got Messi is like, damn, this guy like worked. I, like, I keep telling people, legit, I want Messi to fucking slip on a banana and hurt himself. Not to the point where like he gets injured like permanently, <laughs> but enough to like <laughs> enough to like be out for the civil of the World Cup. You know what I mean? Like I want him if they win. Not to be because I'm messy. Not it's because I'm hating. I'm a hater. I don't mind. I, know. I want them to win. I want them to win because I'm messy. No, I want them to lose. Dude, I'm not messy. They have to go through messy. I fucking want them to lose. I, I'm sorry. Like I said, I mean, I'm I'm gonna, it's going to be a good ass game, though. No lie. Oh, 100%. It's going to be a good I'm ass game. Gonna I hope they. I hope they fucking bring it and they're not just hesitating to score. The last they need to fucking go and just push. Yeah, because the last time they went against France, I think it was in the Brazil World Cup, and they lost 4 to 3 or 4 to 2. 4 to 3. 4 to 3. Oh my fucking. Is he really good? That was a good ass game. Oh my God. That was a semifinal. I don't fucking see that game. This that was a semifinal. Definitely going to be a great game. Um, yeah, that's that's last bad. fucking World Cup, Mexico beat Germany. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but you're ready, bro. Like, you're like, you're you're been choking lately. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy fucking. Yeah, but yeah. still, they, I mean, they still have a big name though. Yeah, they couldn't make it out of the fucking group stage again. Again, yeah. yeah this uh, like, second, third time you're choking like that. Second, I think. I think second, yeah. So like, and who did they lose it? against though? Like the one before that, they went to the, they won it, didn't they? They beat Argentina. Sounds right. Like I said, I don't know, dude. Germany's been lacking, and you can't even get mad. Yeah. Uh, like they, be, the people who be beating them, be Man, they have heart. Netherlands too. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, with Japan. Netherlands. Okay. Bro, I was really fucking Japan ever since one of the German fucking. Um, team members was kind of like making fun of Japan the way he run because yeah. Japan people were fucking short and then they're fucking and the, yeah. the Germans fucking tall as fuck he was fucking running like fucking legs all extended trying to fucking mimic them I got so pissed off because I was short I was like fucking bastard <laughs> of this shit. I was like you know what fucking kill and then, and then moments later they fucking squared I was like yeah. Bro, uh, Japan, man, their fucking people are amazing. The way they were like clean the stadium, it, it, they lost, and they're like, we still gotta clean the stadium. Oh my god, especially when they fucking lost around sixteen. Just what I'm saying. They, fucking, uh, what was it the coach uh, bow to everybody? Just saying, like, oh, they got. Bro, man. I'm like, god damn, the Asian culture be fucking about respect and shit. Meanwhile, we're here fucking. Should talk to each other. Yeah, the game, they, they <laughs> why there's no beer? <laughs> yeah, 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 they had the non-alcoholic beer. They did. Well, see, the thing I don't get about the World Cup is that's another one. It's like they get sponsored by Budweiser, but then you go, y'all can't have beer. Well, yeah. well, they were saying that they don't have, they couldn't have beer in the stadium. No. So they say that, but I remember seeing that they also like the places that had beer were like in a faraway spot where nobody knew them, like they were hidden. Um, what the fuck? Was that some illegal shit? Yeah. So like, I think I think if I remember right, Budweiser is gonna like get some money back from the sponsorship because they did sponsor X amount of money. But fuck, Qatar has so much money. They did. Fuck. They did say Budweiser did make an announcement said that the country that wins the world. Oh, I gotta get that. The, that they're gonna send the beer to that country. Yeah. What? They have, yeah, they have, the they have beer that they didn't get. Oh, the oh, yeah, they have a whole US. fucking. They have a whole warehouse. <laughs> I'm not going to Mexico for no fucking Budweiser, dude. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get my Heineken here. They have a whole fucking <laughs> warehouse of like beer. They show a fucking warehouse full of fucking beer. Oh, it's like really? this is the this is the beer that was supposed to be for the World Cup. Oh, but since we God. can't use it, the winner's gonna get it. Damn, yeah, that country. Hey man, I wonder if they got to do what they got to do. Or did you like Budweiser? Free beer. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Oh, yeah, free well, beer. France has a France shit. They got Heineken. Ain't French for like wine and shit? Is that German? No, the Heineken, the Heineken, the Heineken brewery is in Amsterdam. That's not in, is that in France? I don't think, I don't think Amsterdam's in France. It's in Europe though. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with that. So he didn't. He, so we hey, know he was. Check me on that one too. <laughs> so we know he was an AP in geography. Yeah, no, oh, I uh, fucking love not geography. geography not that good. <laughs> not good I'm still not good with my fucking US history. Uh, for real, you uh, eat my ass. See, I'm, I'm more. I'm more. I like history. I'm a history buff. I like history. I also yeah, like I geography and stuff like that. That's my biggest thing as well. My dad would try to teach me history 
my whole life. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to know what happened back then. <laughs> <laughs> like, tell me what's happening now. And even like, then, bro, I don't mean for me. Do you just watch news? Uh, nah, yeah. here and there. I try to avoid the news. Nah, I, I honestly, it really depends because there's a lot of fucking news. They're just like, I do watch like, like TMZ. <laughs> TMZ is real as fuck though. That's more. It's, I feel like TMZ is more real than fucking news. I'm like, they, dude, you know how many times what in the media in general, dude, can be manipulated in so many ways, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. especially with videos now. They can be edited, make it seem a totally different way. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, 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 it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's one of the biggest. Exactly, things. exactly. But I don't know, the news, I don't watch it. Yeah, I, I try to avoid it. I, I watch news. I like watching independent news um, sources. Um, mm. My biggest thing is Vox. I really like those. Uh, they also cover it on um, Qataris and stuff like that, which is crazy learning about the country, how, they fucking, how rich they got. Yeah. And like, if you're basically a, I think it's all Qatarian, if you're like fully full blooded Qatarian, the oh, government yeah. fucking pays for everything. Yeah. They pays for medical education. They, they fucking pay you just to fucking be a Qatarian. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. a rich country. There's no homeless people. What do you got like? Well, they have oil there, they right? Kick out all the homeless. Well, that's well, if you don't have homeless, <laughs> you know, sure, you I, can't. You can't have homeless if you kick them out. I heard, <laughs> I heard a rumor that there's some states. I mean, I don't know if this is accurate, but there were some states that would give homeless people tickets to like Florida or uh, California. Just so that way. They so can they're like, yo, we'll give you a ticket to California. It's always hot. You know, it, it snows here. Go to California. It's hotter. We'll give you some money and allow them to go there. Sure, yeah. I'll go there. Sure. Uh, you know, if, they're to, pay, if they're paying for it, I'll go. They went to LA one time. I remember this. Yeah, we went to LA. Yeah. And uh, we went to LA. To, that, we, went, we stayed in downtown LA. It was fucking, there were so many homeless people there, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm used to Chicago downtown. You know what I mean? Where like, you, you just can't be like you, there all the time. Yeah. In downtown LA, bro, there was homeless everywhere. Every bus station, like there was a homeless person there. Uh, it was just, it's just littered with fucking homeless people. And it's like, God damn. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, um, that sucks. That's gotta suck. Well, like, I mean, it's I mean, nice it's, over there, so. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, it's, it's a big population over there. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, you know how much, the, I don't know how much money they make. Homeless people. What? They make money. Like to ask? Yeah, like some, some, some panhandlers be making oh, good money. I'm sure. Like, I know people who be like in like Venice Beach and stuff like that. They be making good money just by asking for money. Oh, yeah, you were yeah. surprised, right? We went to Venice Beach and to the strip, and they were just like, it was like kind of like a pop up strip, right? People were just selling stuff, random shit. And then coming back, we went, we, we cruised around back again at Venice Beach, but at night, the people that were just popped up, they just, now they're just sleeping there. Yeah, they, they just kind of like move their oh, shit to the edge. And yeah, they just like, oh, they were, they were just selling like, like uh, crabs and shit, right? Like paintings and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, oh, that's like, super cool. Like, like really close stuff. in time. All right, now it's time to sleep. Let's fucking sleep right there at the same spot. Oh, shit. I was like, what the fuck? Holy shit. Yo, some of them were good jars. Yeah, some of them were really good mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I remember this one guy, we were fucking, I, I, we were talking to him. I, I don't know what he was saying, right? But I don't know. He was like, you guys want to get acid? I know they're going to get acid. Let's go get acid. And I was like, oh, oh, oh what the fuck? We were just fucking, we were just, I think we were try, trying to ask around for weed or something like that. And his guy comes in. I'm like, oh, I know they have this was acid. Let's go get acid. And we're like, hey, no, 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 no. Nah. We, we're trying to chill with you. It's fucking, it's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, that's <should> escalated. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who the fuck out? I just wanted to smoke a little bit. You know what you're talking about? Acid? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's fucking, um, Crazy, yeah. yeah, for real, dude. For real. Napo, so what are your Christmas plans? Uh, bro, we're gonna go to my girl's mom's house, you know. So everybody's planning on wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. So we gotta actually still go buy it. Shout out to real for his beautiful, beautiful. Hey, for real. I mean, what, I think this is just a is sweater. It? Sweater in general is just yeah. ugly, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that like the sweater style called the ugly yeah, sweater? sweater? Yeah, yeah no. it has to be, well, or like knitted. Maybe it has to be knitted or something like that. That's that's only Christmas. Uh-uh. Yeah, this is nice. I don't know what's determined. Hey, hey, we're hey, not sponsored. It's it's what it's about like, you. Well, I um no half the time my family is like we all chill with the family and that's about it. Like we don't do anything special. For fucking get get all dressed up just to sit on the fucking couch. <laughs> no no I see no so I, I guess to the point where like every time I went to family events I like used to get dressed up you know what I mean mm-hmm. and I get to the point where I'm just I'm getting sweatpants and a fucking shirt and people are like oh is that what you wear I'm like is that what you're wearing right now yeah I mean basically <laughs> but like. I'm like, why am I getting dressed up for people that really know what the fuck I look like, like not dressed up? Like, even if you're going out to like a like wedding or reception or somewhere, I'm going to the same fucking place house over and over again. They know what I look like. What the fuck am I trying to dress up for them? Yeah. Like for a fucking family picture? Like fuck that. I I'm, I don't like dressing up though. I do. 
I don't like to dress up, you know. It just makes me feel. Up. It just makes me feel better. You feel? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I always, I always say like, if you, if you're over here, the, uh, if you look good, you feel good. Oh, 100%. You know what I'm saying? But like, the thing about me is like, for, if you're comfy in jogger shit, that's you. That's what I'm saying. It's like for me, it's like, why are you gonna be in dress pants where like you have limited movement? You know what I mean? Like, I, you ever wore dress pants? All the time for work. Yeah, what kind do you have that you can't move? Yeah. Well, no, those are, those are thin as hell. They're not tight. <laughs> yeah. But like, I'm just saying, like, tight. what kind of movement you do you be... need to have? Are you thick in your pants? I just, I just thick with two seats. <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's just like a matter of like, I don't know. It's like if you bend down or you crouch or something. I don't know. I, what do you need to bend down for, George? Hey, hey, hey. Fucking security, bro. <laughs> what on the desk? Well, I'm just saying, you drop something, you gotta bend down and pick it up or something. I don't know. God damn. That's not purpose. Oops. 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 <laughs> no. My thick pants. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I just, like, I, just, I, just, I feel more comfortable in sweatpants. Oh, I don't like dressing up. That's I, I dressed up for work for the last, I don't know, like eight years now. I don't like, I don't like it. I like, I like dress pants. Yeah, I, I like dressing up. Uh, like same thing with like, there's a nice little polo. Like, you know what I'm saying. I'm a big guy, okay. I'm not claiming to be you know the most muscular motherfucker ever, but like most dress shirts, the arm sleeves are very tight. Yeah. But like. So like I don't like that. Is there a you point, go up a size? I have a question. Is is there a point in your back that you cannot touch? Yes. Yeah. All right. Turn around and show us. I, this is just the bag. Huh? Nah, 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 nah. nah. We want. No. We got. We got. So is there a point where you're itchy and you're just like I cannot get this one spot? I have a back scratch at work. You have a back. <laughs> I bought, I, bought, I bought a three pack of back scratchers. I have one in my house, one in my car, and one in my office. I'm like, hey, get a scratcher. I'm like, back scratcher, scratcher. That's smart as hell. Yeah. I haven't used a back scratcher Bro, in a while. It's, it's like, no, the thing is, like, it's not even like most of the time. It's like, if I have like short, sore uh, biceps and shoulders, that should be hard as fuck, bro. Because, like, when, when you get sore, one thing you do also is like, you get stiffer. You know what I mean? Yes. Which is one of the reasons why you gotta work on mobility when you do work out. I don't. I mean, I do, but I don't. Not as much as I should. So, like, I'll be sore sometimes, and, like, like lifting my arm, like, this much hurts because I fucking destroyed my shoulder the day before. So, just doing this, and then all the way back, and then my bicep being sore, I'm like, oh, that's just work. So, it's got a back scratcher. That makes sense. Work hard. Work smart, not hard. Exactly. Exactly. What about you, Mario? You got a, uh, what are your plans around for Christmas? No, I don't know, bro. The past two years, Christmas had a COVID hit us. So, like, they're not making the plans until everyone knows that, like, no one has COVID. Damn. Because, like, the, yeah, because um, I think. Every year someone had COVID? Yeah, for the past two years. I even, No, actually, for the past three years. This is our third. We had things. Is this our third year? No. Yeah. For COVID? COVID started 2020. 2020. Yeah, like, late well, close, I mean, technically. No, early 2020. It closed well, 2020. It closed around like Mar- May, March, March, January, March, March. Yeah, March 2020. Okay. March, but 2020. Yeah, that's. But when COVID came year. out, it was exactly like 2019, 2020, like 2021. Oh shit! This will be the third year. Yeah. You're right, right. Holy fuck! So we were. God planning- damn! We still in COVID three years afterwards. God, we suck at this. We still. We suck at being sick. We suck. Yeah, we suck at being sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. When I'm sick, I just want to fucking stay home, bro. And try to do stuff. I don't. You want to do stuff? Yeah. Yeah, stay home all day fucking push your shit on me. For real? Yeah. That, that don't one, like to relax. There was a point where like I thought I had COVID. Well, he doesn't like dress pants though. That's yeah. true, dude. There was a point where he I likes joggers, but he likes to move around. What the fuck? There was a uh, there was a point in like <laughs> where, where we barely shut down, right? Yeah. I think I had COVID. I technically I haven't had COVID officially. Okay. Officially. Congratulations. Thank you. I like um, the one percenters out there. So, I mean, I said officially because, like, when we closed down in March, I was sick for two weeks. I had all the symptoms of COVID. Uh, but I, was, I, I wasn't going to go to the hospital because back then people were getting fucking... So, this was before, like, the whole... Like, right when it was happening. Like, like I think I got sick February, March, mm-hmm. and that's when shit started to shut down and everything. Mm-hmm. I was fucking sick like a motherfucker. It got to the point where every, I went to work, and people would be like, yo, I got you a suit because you've been sick for the last, like, two weeks. Damn. Uh, like, everybody was like, yo, you, I've never seen you this sick. I've never seen you this sick. But I remember being, like, I got sick then. A year later, I got sick again. Again, I think it was COVID. I'm not sure. Um, but it got to the point where I'm like, can I go to the gym? I don't, am I allowed to go to the gym? Like, oh God. everybody's like, no, stay home, stay home. So I stayed home. But I'm like, who would have know? Oh what I, mean? God. I didn't. I didn't go to the gym. You probably did. But I'm like, <laughs> but I'm like, why did you, why did you get tested? 
I'm not one fucking things getting poked in my nose. This- oh my god. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I really like the poke. Dude, that shit hurts. That shit I, 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 there are some places that make you do it. I want to see oh, yeah, you do it. The that, 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 made me, that made me fucking sneeze how sensitive my nose is. And like, people around me were like, just like going forward. And I was like, dude, it's not his allergies, bro. It just fucking pushed me my nose. When COVID started, bro, I was like, I had, I don't know, I just had to sneeze a few times. And I was scared to sneeze. Yeah. I'm like in the middle of the line and I'm like, I really gotta sneeze. But I, I couldn't. Because if, if I did, people would be like, what the fuck? It's, it's, it's cough. For real, dude. <laughs> dangerous times, dangerous times. Oh, you, um, so you never officially had COVID because you never got yourself tested? No, I know you had COVID. Were you officially COVID? Mm, yes. I remember my girl had COVID, but I didn't have COVID. No, that that's was weird. See, okay, oh, that's like bullshit. So you officially yeah, never had COVID? But then when she stopped having it, you got it, didn't you? Oh, I fucking hated that. Exactly. But then I, I was happy because well, you, that was the time where... I was working and I didn't have to work, but I was still getting paid because of COVID. Were you officially like had COVID, like a doctor or tested positive? Yeah. I was gonna say, because I know this motherfucker had it for real. Because right after he goes done with COVID, he had the whole like not being able to smell. Oh, not okay? being able to smell. Not so, being able to sense of smell. I lost my so, sense of smell and my sense of taste, yeah. This brings me back because earlier before the show, we were talking about smelling salts, uh, ammonia. And this guy's like, yo, I, I want to try it. I'm like, I have some in my house. You know, next time I have it, bring it. During that time was the first time I actually bought ammonia. And I'm like, yo, try, smell this shit. This motherfucker grabbed the ammonia this bottle. This was after I was done with COVID. Yeah, after COVID. I, I, so, still had the, I still had the loss of sense of smell, sense of taste. Yeah, so he was, he was clear. He, months after I was fucking crazy. Yeah, he was clear. He tested positive or yeah. fall, all negative. Yeah. So he was he had no COVID anymore. <laughs> but he had no sense of smell. So I'm like, here, try smelling my ammonia. Oh, my God. That was the first time I, I, I had those. I had the, it was like a bottle, right? The first time I had the, what was it? Not bath salts. Uh, ammonia. Um, ammonia. 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 Uh, smelling salts. Smelling salts, right? First time, right? I was like, I'm over here getting closer. I'm over here getting closer. I had it all the way up in my nose. This guy was like, what the fuck? Bro. This guy was like, what is this happening? And I was like, I don't smell anything. Like, I, and, and he's the surprise. Bro. I was like, once you're hitting that, like, just popping it open. Get that whiff of smell. Oh my god! Like anybody who hasn't got ammonia, like literally. So if you have the smelling salt about this high up, like this far from your nose, you already can smell it. Yeah. Like it's not as potent as obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like you can smell this big. This motherfucker had it up to his nose. I'm like, I can't smell anything. I'm like, bro, can you stop? Like it was freaking me out because like I know how fucking hard that smells. Like the OD. I'm yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if this is healthy to have it in your like nose that long. Like I don't know what the works. Like most people you can't smell get it shit in your eye. Yeah, most people just smell it and go look away. Yeah. Get it in your eye. Oh. Like, he is nosing. Since know. you had it so hot, close to your fucking face. I don't know, bro. I, I had to smell it afterwards just to make sure it was working. It was nice to get it. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, no, it's still working. This motherfucker just has no smell. Like that was fucking. That was crazy. for me crazy. It was nice to get shot. That's crazy. He took it. He took shot like. <laughs> oh, you don't okay, taste no, no taste, but no burn. Afterwards, she did the money, right? Yeah, yeah. Afterwards, did the money. I was like, jealous. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it's not. I'll, I'll show. I'll, 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 next week, I'll bring my money so they can smell we'll, it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll definitely do it. Mm. I'm down. I'm down. I want to try it. And you got the blinker for the light on air, so that means that we're cutting. No. So that's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, follow. Go play games. Go get games and do something. Kind of thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. See you guys. Have a good one.